Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Shrini here. And this is my channel, guys. Just go ahead and search in YouTube and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to get notifications for getting a lot of useful videos on Selenium and getting a lot of interview questions as well. So today we are going to look at a very important topic which anyone who is new to Selenium or even who are learning Selenium initial in the initial stages, right? They would be able to get a lot of help and they will be able to master Selenium if they understand the tips and tricks to master Selenium. What are the different components which you need to possess in order to master Selenium? You just have to follow these simple basic rules or agenda and I'm really ensuring that you guys would be really able to master Selenium. So just go ahead and follow all of these simple uh, process actually. It's a tips and tricks when I say it's basically like a process. You cannot master anything until you follow a process systematically. So I have listed down the different steps for you to able to master Selenium on your own. You need not even go to any kind of tutors or any kind of tuitions or any kind of coaching for that matter. You can just learn online and you can learn yourself and you can do that. So I'll explain you how you can do that. It's not difficult. Just follow this video till the end and you'll be able to get the gist out of it. right? So I have listed down the different steps which you need to follow and you will be able to achieve this particular mastering of selenium within a couple of months. If you follow these simple basic rules, you will be able to master selenium. Trust me guys, it's very simple. It's just that we have to put in some effort and you'll be able to see the results later on. Yeah. So firstly is that you have to know one programming language thoroughly. So before you learn any kind of a tool, you need to first understand what is the prerequisites or the important things which anyone needs to know, right? So for Selenium as well, it's a basically automation tool, which in conjunction with any one good programming language will be able to achieve automation and deliver great results, right? So uh, whoever are already knowing Selenium, they would be aware that Selenium can be worked with multiple programming languages like Java, Python, Ruby, Perl, C Sharp, etc. So don't worry about all of those. Those are different options you're having. If you know any one programming language like Java or Python, just focus on one programming language and practice a lot, practice a lot. So do not jump into Selenium automation testing, even though you are eager and you want to learn manual, you want to go into automation testing for manual. Don't be in a hurry. Trust me guys, if you learn Selenium, learn if you learn one programming language thoroughly, then Selenium will be too easy. It's just, it's too vast but it's too easy if you know any one programming language thoroughly. It could be C Sharp, or Python or Java, right? So I'm assuming that you guys may be using Java or Python for that matter. So these are the OOPS programming languages. So let's say in Java, you're having different terminologies in OOPS, right? Class, you're having object, you're having inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction, encapsulation, etc. right? Ensure you practice all of those concepts individually then create some simple programs to build the logic. And you can also practice some programs using strings, arrays, use collections in Java, use exception handling, prepare proper programming examples with which you will be able to build a lot of confidence in Java. So I'm just considering you have gone with Java as an example. Once you have mastered Java with respect to at least core Java, you need not know advanced Java. Just know core Java till collections and maybe JDBC is fine. Even if you do till here, it's fine. You are ready to go into Selenium. You don't need not worry about knowing any advanced Java concepts like strings, hibernates, EJV, struts, etc. No, not required at all for Selenium. Core Java is enough. Let's come to the second topic. Second important tip centric path is to practice XPath thoroughly. So in Selenium, you might be hearing a lot of terminologies, a lot of different concepts, but don't lose your focus on all of those. Just go with this flow. Just practice XPath because you need to know how to inspect an element in a UI. It could be Firefox, Chrome or any browser you might be using. You need to know how to inspect the, inspect the element and find out the locators, right? Now there are different locators, of course, not just XPath. You are having ID, you're having class name, you're having name. You are having CSS selector. There are a lot of different ways, but I have mentioned XPath specifically here because there are a lot of different ways to uh, find a particular locator through different strategies. That's why I mentioned XPath here. It could be related to XPath. It could be XPath access. You can follow follow my other videos in my Selenium playlist to get more concepts on that. Right? 
this is the second important tips and tricks part third one is that ensure you are having the basic interactions of the web driver variable master this is very important if you want to do any kind of uh, automation testing you need to know each and every such concept like switching to a frame how do you switch to a window how do you switch to a alert you need to know all of that you need to know if you are having a actions class how do you use the actions class to go to a element perform some actions there might be certain situations where you might be required to use robot class so how do you emulate the keyboard actions and how do you use that that you need to know you need to know how to use javascript executor when your driver uh, methods like clicking or sending text etc is not working then how do you use the javascript executor you need to know the syntax for the same how do you interact with all the different kinds of elements which you can see in a web application page like hyperlink images text drop down radio button checkbox text area date picker text box etc there are a lot of such different elements you need to know individually how to interact with them you need to know that concept and practice it all design patterns so there are page object model page factory these are the important design patterns to achieve object repository or create object repository in serenium because we don't have a default object repository in serenium so you have to create your own so you can do that with usage of these two or you can store the locators into database or you can store it into an excel sheet right then you are having test ng for basically uh test ng is such a good uh, approach for like creating your test suite it has annotations basically you can run something before your entire suite runs you can run something before a test runs it's such a rich uh, based testing approach so compared to j unit test ng is much preferred and it will also give you the privilege or it will also give you a way to do data driven testing as well so it's very useful and you have this test ng.xml you need to know test ng.xml and annotations thoroughly completely master it it's very important concept the next concept is apache pui you need to know how to interact with excel sheet get the data so from a workbook you have to interact with the workbook right that's what we call as a excel sheet it could be dot xls or dot xlsx then how do you interact with the sheet how do you get the data from a row that is from a cell etc then how do you do logging using log 4j you need to know individually how do you use extend reports to capture the extend reports and store it in an html file and share with the different stakeholders it will show pass fail percentage etc what is a base class in a framework how do you use base class why why is base class so important you need to know and practice you need to know how to create object repository I've already given the different ways about how to do that then how do you build a framework from scratch using all of these above concepts right now there are totally four different frameworks which is kind of important for anyone to know that is data driven framework keyword driven framework hybrid framework cucumber bdd and the last important point is integration with jit and jenkins this is for continuous integration and jit will be for your versioning part so if you follow this particular path right you are going to master selenium because this is what is always required to do ui automation testing guys just follow this path and still if you face any problems or if you have any kind of blockages or if you need any kind of uh, tips and any kind of uh, uh, clarification do feel free to comment on my video and i'll be happy to clarify thanks for watching this video and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much